Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I'm on my phone. Sophie's in her pajamas still. We are trying to get down the path. It's kind of slippery down a hill. It's, it's worse for Sophie because she's sore, and I've been there. I know that feeling. That's a good ride when you're sore. Anyway, a good at morning. Yeah, it also sucks. There's footprints here. Like, like sitting down to pee. Hey, don't look at her. <laughs> sitting down to pee is the worst thing when you're sore. There's Molly hair. There's Molly hair. Molly hair. Molly is, whoa, <laughs> shedding like crazy. Anyway, I didn't bring down the big camera today because my bat, I only have one battery for it and it doesn't last long. And we're going doing something so special today. So. I wanted to save the battery. Be careful, see that ice? Wow. I'm definitely not going to fall off. Wow, usually... Wow, that's scary because the horses have to come through here. Aha, uh -huh, Gino! How are you, big man? But anyway, uh, good morning. Uh, welcome back to today. I got Sophie here. Would you just tell me? I would put a blanket on, honey, but she's fine without it. And she hates yeah, it. Yeah, it's gorgeous out today. We are going on our first winter trail ride, like us as a family. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bring Penny. I don't know. I'm still gonna choose. Like I, I don't know. I we got her on the trailer. I remember how to get her back on the trailer now. I just don't know if I want to do that. And I think I know what caused the problem. And I think taking her on a trail and fixing the problem that made her scared of the trailer would help her a lot. Like she's a, she's a, she's been on the trailer her whole life, but suddenly she's scared and. That can happen, that's not unusual. Something happened in the trailer when we closed the door, and I think that's what it is. I think it's us closing the door between the the front and the back that caused the problem. But anyway, welcome back to today. Gabby's supposed to be getting up. Oh, is that dad? Oh no, Sam's yes. home! Yes, he can do chores if he can go up. <laughs> no, 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 we have to do chores. He always has them done by now, we're late. Let's go, quick! <laughs> Basically, we have to pretend we've been down here for hours and we're half done chores. Don't look at the girls eating. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Oh, man. <laughs> if the, we get yelled at, I'm yelling at you because you made us late. Now, let's see what he says. He's coming straight down. So Sam was away last night and I was alone all night. I slept alone. I did okay. Usually I don't sleep if Sam's not there, but I slept okay last night. Anyway, like I said, we're getting ready to go on a trail ride. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm not probably going to bring Penny. She's my dream horse Does for that trails. Mean we're bring honey and Willow? But we're going to, no, honey's not coming. So, honey and Penny are staying home. Gracie and Willow and Chino are our, our horses. Anyway, I'm excited. We've never been to this place ever before. It's something new, something I'll explain the whole thing later. Did he just come in? <laughs> Did you see the shadow? I saw a shadow. No, look on the wall. I see a shadow. Hi. How are you? Late. Late? What her do you mean? Fault. We've been down here all day, all morning. We've just it, been it, like. It's her fault. We've just been filming. Late. I know. I, we just came down for I slept ago. in because I didn't sleep that good because you weren't here. And then I slept in. We can go up now, right? No, no we can help. It's so gorgeous well, I out here. I have to get ready and I have to curl my hair. Yeah, Sophie needs to get ready. She needs to get ready. Today. I can today see myself. My <laughs> You can see yourself? Yeah, yeah, that's what I love about this camera. I can see the, I can video. Sam, can you see yourself? You should make it like 16 by 9 format. How do I, it, oh. Format right now. Oh, how do I do that? I don't know. Oh, so that's why it looks like there's bars on each side when I video? Ew, all right, let's see if I can fix that. What time are we leaving? We are leaving really soon, so let's go. I'm trying. 11? We're, I said we'd be there for 11.30. Because we're having lunch there. You better be doing chores, man. Yeah. I want to go get ready. Where's All right. Gabby? I called her. I think I maybe have got it. I, I still don't know how to work my camera completely. So please bear with us. So I wanted to tell you guys a couple of things before we get going on the trail ride. I'm going to be taking a different camera with us. But I wanted to tell you guys a couple of things. And it's this. Um, I saw a lot of comments about Sophie going on her trail ride and how, like, that's not learning. That's just running around on a trail. But I wanted to tell you guys how amazing it actually is to ride on the trail and how much you learn. Go on out there. Oh, she's like, I need to roll. Good girl, yeah, good girl. So we do this because we want to teach her to lay down and we want her to teach her to stay laying down when we come near her. 
She's like, I need to get up now. <laughs> Ruby's like, oh, Ruby just wants to love her. So basically, she's barely big enough. We keep that thing completely full all the time so that she always can reach the water. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys that that is, for some people, riding on a trail and riding a horse that just goes that you don't have to like try and figure out how to go works better. I learned a million times better riding horses on the trail, ride or die. That's how I learned to ride because the horse just kept going. She just kept going while I figured myself out and I was able to figure myself out. It was the only time I actually felt comfortable riding. You guys know I've made so many videos about it, about me learning to ride on this trail. Like, I can't even explain it. Like, and that's what happens with Sophie. When you are riding a horse that you have to concentrate all your time on making it move. Like, do you agree with that? Like, when you're, like, squeezing and saying, go, 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 it, you, you're, it changes your position. It does so... As fast as I hold back, I let her go. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, but but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you are in the arena and you're riding horses that don't, that like lazy lesson ponies. Lazy less lazy lesson ponies. For some people, it doesn't work. For some people, it doesn't work. I hate that. Like, I can't learn to ride if I can't focus on what I need to work on. Riding those lessons, riding the trail horses made me be able to work on me. I learned just by riding them. I learned just by, they kept going and I was bouncing and then I tried a different position and then I would like bounce more and then I would try a different position and then I would bounce less and then I was like, oh, that's the position I need to be in. And then I was able to talk about it after and, and get advice and talk to the lady and say like, what about this and what about that? And she helped me so much. And it works for some people and it doesn't work for some people. And mostly, I think, that we know what we're used to. We know what we learned and that's what we feel comfortable with. And it's hard for us to understand a different way. And then what did you learn? Anything about riding in the snow? Like the snow falling down oh, and yeah, spooking your horse? Terrifying. Yeah, and it landed on me. It, yeah, it's landed on me out there too. And so there's just a lot of learning that happens. You're always learning no matter what you, where you are. And for some people, the kind of riding stuff he's doing right now works wonders. And for some people, they need the, the security of being in, a, in an arena, just going around and around and around and being able to practice each skill over and over and over. But for me and for Sophie, riding on a pony, on a horse that won't go unless you're always working on getting it to go means that we can't work on ourselves and that's why I like the speedy ones. yeah that's why i like speedy ones too my horse is a speedy horse and i love that about her like i love that about her and i sophie and i are the same like i need a horse that can take care of itself so that i can learn and i know a lot of people have different opinions because we all have had different experiences and we're all different people and we all learn differently right mm -hmm. we're having lunch on a trail ride you guys we're having lunch on a trail ride so I bought all these squares. No, I made all these squares. Just joking. I bought all these squares. You made them all? <laughs> yeah, I was joking. You and did not make them. No, we're bringing those we, listen, for dessert. And then I have this bag here. Like, this is our first ever, like, going someplace for trails in the winter. Hold on. This whole entire bag full of water. It's like 12 waters or something. We're going out and you're going to ride like the wind. And he's staying home. All right. So trying to figure out my camera. So essentially I'm trying to figure out this using my phone. My new camera comes today. I just wanted to tell you guys that. By the time we get home tonight, I should have a new camera, a new small camera. And it's going to be helpful because having to carry like a law, a big, huge camera really changes how much I can video. Uh -oh. I'm filling my pocket with horse treats. Came around from the trailer. Yeah. And she was staring with her ears forward like, I'm ready. Yeah, I know. She and loves... Honey couldn't care less. Yeah, honey is not a carer she kind of horse. All right, well, let's get packed up. Do we have everything we need for... So, I don't know if her bridle's in there because the door was closed. Well, you have to go check. Look here. Where's her bridle held? Here. You look so cool with your winter sunglasses. And Sophie, you got to get your hat, your coat. What? The snow is bright. I have to have it. Yeah. So Gabby hates bright lights. Well, I'm blinded. She's blinded by 
bright lights. Me too. By snow. Oh my gosh, there's a little tiny puppy. Do you guys see her? She's gonna <laughs> climb underneath that thing. If you guys don't know where Sam is, he's over there at a fire. So we're gonna have like fire and a lunch. It's almost like a riding party. There's the puppy. Oh, she's so cute. She looks like a llama. Oh, I know. That's what, that's what, before I saw her, I saw like half of it. I thought it was a llama. You thought she was a llama? Yeah. All right, so we got Gracie all packed up, you guys. And we got a lot of kids here. And Gracie's going to be the little kid pony. And she's not going to be taking big people around, just the little tiny people. I'm out. And I'm going to lead her. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to lead her on the trail. But you guys know Emma. And she is actually going to ride with us on the trail today. She's been in our videos the last little bit, right? Yes. And Owen. <laughs> so we have Chino all tacked up. Oh no, he just needs his bridle. All right, let's bridle up. Oh, my big camera bra battery died. So annoying. All right, we're tacking up. Bridling up. Ladies, oh hello, little Minnie. You're so cute. She's nervous. Look at how good shape she's in. Um, so she's a little nervous going on the trailer. That's why Sophie wanted to bring her because she literally has only been on a trailer like twice in her whole entire life, and one was last weekend. Trusted lead rope. This is perfect for leading. People because it's really long. This is my favorite lead rope because it's so long. Oh, did I mention that my big camera that I plan to shoot on broke? So this video is not going to be the best quality and that's okay. It's going to be phone quality, but uh, my new camera is coming today. So, so one thing we didn't, in the trailer one saying. thing we didn't think of was how hard it's going to be to walk in the snow. But we are going, Chino and Grace here far ahead. <laughs> All right, so I'm not getting any footage of the bigger horses <laughs> because they're way ahead of me. Ooh. I think you go that way. Did you see what way they go? Oh great, another trail ride and we're lost. <laughs> just what Sophie loves. All right, so I saw the girls just go by down there. You found the path? How the heck did Gabby get through that? It's pretty though. And this is what trail riding teaches you. Oh wow. This is gorgeous. Yeah, there's a Chino footprint. So the footing here is really soft and fluffy. I love riding through soft, fluffy snow. walking snow. I need to ride. How was he? So he was good? So Joanna can take him out, you think? Right, they're off again on their own because you guys can't see, but our friend is actually riding Chino and she's used to riding Western, so it's a whole new thing for her, but Gabby's with her, so I think it'll be okay. Right, so Sam's hanging by the fire all by himself <laughs> while we wait for them to come back from their ride. Willow's not super happy about the whole thing because she's not used to it here. And there's dogs and stuff, so she's like learning. And that's perfect. And there's a field there that we can put her in. I could probably put her in that field. Bobby, can I put her in this field? Yep. It's, I'll throw some hay for her. All right, so they have this nice little pen here, and we're going to put the horses in it while we eat lunch. I'm just hang, standing with Willow. Willow's waiting for Gracie. And Sophie's going to come and throw her some hay. So we have Emma on Chino and Gabby's just taking her for like a little trail ride and she got on and she's look at your good posture Emma's like such a natural on the last video I showed you guys were saying like how I should have told her about her body position and stuff and I did and I showed her how to keep her feet and I showed her how to put her hands but sometimes when you're like practicing staying on and your balance like you look so good like that's English is it still scary 
You like it? She's so comfortable. And then there's Sophie over there. Keep him real calm. Gracie's gonna go in there in a minute and we're gonna have some lunch. And uh, Tina's gonna go in there with him too. a field to throw them in after our ride. They're all so, they're so happy. They're like, all right, if I have to stay here, I can do this. It's so nice outside too, you guys, like not even cold at all. But look at them all together. I love it. Gabby the cat whisperer, she says she doesn't like cats. He's shy. A stray? He just showed up. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 